Hey friends, I hope you are doing awesome tastic. It is a beautiful day here in the village of Parma. It is workout day. So we are allowed to wear workout clothes to school today. So I got my Western football shirt. I got my comfortable pants. I got my book headband that one of my students made me. I'm rocking and rolling. I am super happy and things are just magical here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're looking for videos to get kids excited about reading and the latest and greatest book talks of children's literature from picture books through middle grade, sometimes we'll go into some young adults, uh, click that subscribe button and you'll get an update or you'll be notified anytime I post something new. Uh, descriptions for all of the books and links if you want to pick them up are down in the description below or wherever you find the description app. So uh, we're gonna get started today. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about A Seed is the Start by Melissa Stewart. This book is amazing. It's beautiful. Uh, I don't think we would think would expect anything less from a National Geographic book or the wonderful and talented Melissa Stewart. But check this out. One thing I love about this book, I just read it with my uh, morning kids. I love that the uh, like this glossary here is at the very beginning. I think it really gets kids' mindset ready to read the book and to kind of be thinking about what's important and what they're going to be learning. Uh, we talked about how uh, the glossary was at the beginning of the one and only Ivan, which many of them love with all of their hearts. And it was fun to see this in a nonfiction book. So we read that. But check this out. This is probably this right here opening spread. It's like, bam! Like, check this out. Like, you can pretty much see how awesome this book is just on this spread. Like, look at this text. Isn't that inviting? It's just beautiful, the color scheme, the design, the actual text, what's in it. It's just really, really, really awesome. And then I love this kind of like timeline of a seed starting here and moving on. But just look at the color. Look at the just the detail. I love what Melissa put in each one of these steps. It's just awesome. I love that she has a question there. Now, if your kids are writing informational text and they're looking for good mentors, this book is just brilliant. One of our, our favorite parts, we love this learning about a coconut seed. We love learning how like, seeds like spread, how they travel. There's just some crazy facts in here, like a seed that can go like 150 miles an hour, learning about seed, seeds floating. Uh, this, the kids loved it. Did you know a dandelion seed can travel up to 500 miles? 500 miles. Five. 100 miles. The kids were fascinated by that. There's one other thing that I wanted to show you. Well, I have to show you the, the coolest seed of all time. The coolest. Do you know a tumbleweed has 250, like, it's not really called, what's it actually called? Uh, a Russian thistle has actually 250 seeds in it. Nope. I did that when I read to my kids just to be, to make them think 250 was 250,000 seeds. This book is just full of awesome. My kids loved it. Uh, you can just see, where's the, the seed that I want to show you? Right here. Look at it. It looks like a hamburger. It's a hamburger, hamburger bean seed, red hamburger bean vine. So we love this book. I think this book belongs in every classroom, every library. Uh, I know so many of our classrooms here, they study the life cycle of a plant. They study seeds. They need to know the parts of a plant. This is the coolest book about seeds that I have seen in a really long time. It's just so awesome. So you should read this book. It's absolutely fantastic. Loved it so much. I think it's out. I don't know. Should have looked that up before I started this video. I'm currently at home reading Love or at school love, and at the gym. Love, Sugar, Magic, A Dash of Trouble. This book is so awesome. I started it yesterday. I'm on page 102. That's hard to do on a Wednesday to a Thursday, but I'm on page 102. It's so good that when I went to the gym this morning, I read it on the bike. I hate riding the bike but I wanted to read this book. If I'm running or doing the elliptical, I have a harder time reading. So I read this this morning at 5.01 a.m. And it's crazy stuff's happening. We're this magic, we're learning about this magic, blowing me away. So Love Sugar Magic, I'm absolutely loving this book. I wanna thank everyone in the universe that pre-ordered the Creativity Project from BookBug Kalamazoo. Thank you so much for supporting a local independent bookseller. It was so amazing to see those books go out. And I know a lot of you that ordered them, got them yesterday. Thank you for posting on social media. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see the excitement for this book. It's so fun. All of these amazing books. I'm too tall now. Uh, I just love books. Like, aren't they beautiful? Like, they're so, these three covers are so different and they're all so gorgeous. 
<sighs> a seed is the start. You need this book. Your classroom needs this book. Buy it for the gardener in your life. This book is really fantastic. This book I made with a bunch of uh, awesome-tastic people. Uh, maybe it'll bring value to you. This middle grade novel is shaping up to be extremely, extremely special. I'd love to know what you're reading. Uh, what book are you currently reading? What book should I make a video on? What books are awesome-tastic in your life? If you could leave me a comment, let me know. I'm reading this. It's fantastic. You're missing out if you don't read this book. Or, oh, have you heard about this book or this author? I want to know because I want to serve my amazing students, and they need to know what books are out. And the only way that I am going to, to do that is if people are, you know, telling me about books. A uh, comment from Cheyenne Moore. Is there still a way to purchase the Creativity Project and get it signed from you? Yes. If you call BookBug Kalamazoo, just Google BookBug Kalamazoo. Uh, they have some copies. We signed some stock. I think they had two cases of books still that they could um, sell. Uh, also, if you if they don't get it through them, just send me an email, colbysharp at gmail.com, and I'll figure out a way to get you a signed copy. So I hope that helps Cheyenne. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Leave a comment. I want to know what you're reading. Thank you so much. Happy reading. Read this book. It's so good.